I'm Jimmy Chang and we're here to discuss reciprocating the denominator. Now, when it comes to reciprocating the denominator, we're really looking at the reciprocal of the denominator because oftentimes when you have to divide by a denominator, you would need to think about the reciprocal because dividing fractions really involves multiplication, which involves flipping the denominator. So we'll just uh, go through a couple of examples and uh, you'll see how this works. Now suppose you have a situation where you have four-fifths divided by seven-thirds. Now, like we talked about before, dividing fractions really involves multiplication. You just have to think about what the denominator is. The denominator is seven-thirds. So when we're talking about reciprocating the denominator, we're really talking about taking this and then finding the reciprocal of it. Now, the reciprocal, of course, is flipping the fraction. So the reciprocal of seven-thirds is really three-sevenths. So instead of dividing four-fifths by seven-thirds, you're actually multiplying four-fifths by the reciprocal three-sevenths. Now in this case, you can just multiply across. Four times three is 12. Five times seven is going to give you 35. Now, if you were to go into algebra, let's just say you have six-fifths divided by 3 over x, hypothetically, it works the same way. You take your denominator and think about the reciprocal, 3 over x. The reciprocal of that is x over 3, so you're really taking 6 fifths and multiplying by x over 3. And then you just multiply across, and you'll have 6 times x is 6x, 5 times 3 is 15, and then you can reduce that looks like both of them reduces by 2, so you have 2x, or excuse me, divide both sides by 3, so you have 2x divide by 5. Now, I want to stress though, you can only do this if your denominator only has one term, because if you have more than one term that are added, if you have two terms added or subtracted by each other, you really can't do the reciprocal thing. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief introduction to reciprocating the denominator.